We became involved in the NCAA likeness case when Sam Keller had a conversation with one of the partners, Rob Carey, about why his image was being used in the game without his permission. That's just silly. I mean, the EA mantra was, if it's in the game, it's in our game. And so their whole advertising profile was to say, we're going to make this as real as possible, and they did. They took every attribute of a player, except his name, and they put it in the game. That's a violation of the player's rights because every state recognizes the right of publicity, meaning that someone cannot use your image to make money in a commercial venture without your permission. The issues at stake in EA to date have been whether EA had a First Amendment right to take those student-athletes' images, and the court ruled that it did not. The, the whole situation is quite ironic. Everyone is making money. EA is making money, the NCAA is making money, coaches are making money, and they're all making tons of money off of the labor of student athletes. And student athletes are not being paid, really, a cent for this, and their time has come. Well, in the EA settlement, student athletes who were in the game from 2002 to today will receive a check in the mail, probably hopefully in the next year. And then what remains is to get the balance of what they're owed from the NCAA. Well, it's the first time that I'm aware of in the history of the NCAA that athletes will be receiving compensation. 